Number 18 forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, after a few little rain, grapple and sleet showers this afternoon and this evening, those have certainly faded away and even with some high mid level clouds, it's cooling off rapidly and this is a sign of the cold air. We've had up to three and a half inches of snow in central New York tonight and this storm is going to be the big one for the weekend, not for us. But as this moves into the northeastern US, you know, parts of the New York City area, New Jersey, all the way up to Boston could get a foot of snow. This is going to be a nasty nor'easter for New England. But as for us, after some cold nights on the way, uh, high pressure will build in. It will warm up before this storm out way out on the you know, well, in the Pacific Northwest comes in and brings some showers and storms by the middle part of the next week. But certainly the big national story over the weekend will be heavy snow out east and the trees are still foliated. So uh, some damage to the trees out there. All right, as for us, no snow, but boy, it could snow tonight. It's certainly cold enough. 36 already at the station. I poked my head out the door back here. Already a frost forming on the grass and on some of the cars here. 38 at Monticello and already down to 32 at Morocco. Definitely uh, it's going to get colder than the model data suggests tonight. So I lowered the numbers by about 5 degrees. 28 mostly clear at 7 a.m. Becoming partly cloudy at noon and 5. Maybe an isolated shower tomorrow afternoon with some residual cold air loft that'll bubble up the clouds a little bit in a high of 51 degrees. So a cold night tonight, much colder and frosty, 25 to 30 for the low. Maybe an isolated shower later on tomorrow and then warming up a little bit over the weekend, but still uh, quite a few freezing nights on the way. You know, this is going to put the, the kibosh on the, uh, the old growing season around here with lows in the 20s. In fact, tonight, 25 to 30, 28 Lafayette, 27 Monticello, 26 Burlington, and 26 at Winnemac. You will have to scrape your windshield in the morning. 51 tomorrow at Lafayette, Monticello for the high, 50 Logansport, and 53 Crawfordsville to Attica, 54 at Perrysville. You know, future cast doesn't clear the clouds out a lot tonight, but I tell you, it will go mostly clear. That's what will cause the temperature to tank. This is 1 p.m. tomorrow. Clouds bubbling back up. You know, it's a little green, uh, green blob here. That could be an isolated shower. And then Saturday looks pretty good, just partly cloudy, 51. But notice the nights, you know, uh, it's going to be a cold Friday night frenzy, Mike Clef. It's going to drop. In fact, we could be in the mid 30s. By 11 o'clock tomorrow night, we'll drop to 28. Saturday night, we'll drop to 28. Even 32 on Sunday night, 57 for the high on Sunday. Halloween's looking good, partly cloudy in 63, 66 Tuesday, and then some showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday at 63 before we cool off a little bit, 55 on Thursday. Quite a bit of wind in the forecast and readings uh, close to normal, if not a little above that, though, Friday and Saturday just a hair below normal, but a cold night tonight, Dan. This is going to be the coldest night of the season, it looks like, so far. And yesterday, I was wearing shorts in the morning. What? I, what is up with this? <laughs> yeah, it was 75 the day before, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love Unbelievable. It. Yeah. it must be Indiana, I guess. Right. Well, one sport you don't need to worry about outdoor temperature is basketball. And uh, Mike Clef has a little reaction and a little reward for a Purdue basketball player today.